y'all, it's Sabrina. So for today's video, what I'm gonna do is give you 10 different websites where you can find ESL teaching jobs abroad. Please note that these sites themselves, they're not the companies and the schools that you can work with, Rather, they're websites where the company or school hosts job opportunities that are available for you to go in and apply to, to work at. Now, please note, before you jump in and apply to any of these jobs that you see, or the first one that looks good, make sure you do your research. And I don't mean just do the extra research on the company or the school that you're applying to by checking out their reviews, what it's like to work for them, their websites, their credentials, all that information, but also figure out what you want to do when you're going abroad to teach. Look at the country you want to live in, the region or the state, how many kids you want to work with, if you want to be the teacher or just the assistant. Do you want to work in a public school, a private school, a language school? Figure out all that information before you jump in and apply. Also, don't take the first thing that comes along or the first offer you get. Make sure you know what you're going into before you do it. Now to do this video, I'm not just gonna talk at you for this one, which is kind of what I normally do, but I'm going to actually go through the websites themselves. I'm gonna show you what they look like, how they work, where you're gonna find the job postings, and the different resources that are available to you on each of those sites. There are so many websites out there, so there's a lot more than just these 10. So keep looking, keep researching. And if there's one that you like to use above all else, please throw that down in the comments below. So anybody else who sees this video has that resource and opportunity available to them. As always, there are timestamps below. So let's get into the video. Number one is Dave's ESL Cafe. When you go on eslcafe.com, this is the homepage you're gonna get. Right away, you can see the search bar here. You can type in whatever you like, teach in Korea, teach in Poland, or if you click the center, you can go right down to the international job boards. Also, if you go to the top under find a job, you can also get to the international job boards this way. And we are going to go right there. On the international job boards, if you scroll down a bit, it'll tell you how many jobs in total are found. So at the moment, there are currently 140 jobs posted. We're going to scroll down a little bit and pick one for an example. So for example, let's take this one right here. It's teach English full time online in Bali. Underneath, it'll tell you what company or organization posted it. And for this, it's EF English Live. And then over to the right, you'll see when it was posted. So you can check how relevant, how up to date these posts are. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that is going to bring you to that page posting. Again, you can see the one you clicked on, teach English full time in Bali, where the location is, who it was posted by, and then the contact if you wanna get in contact with them. It also tells you how to apply, you send your CV to them. And then if you scroll on down, it gives you information about the company or the organization and what they're looking for. Sometimes it's super detailed, sometimes it's only what they wanna put. Let's go into the next helpful resource on this page. If you go back up to the top and you go under forums and the international forums, this is a section of the site that's basically postings for you to have a discussion. So if you scroll on down, you can see that it's broken up by general discussions or it's broken down by country and continents as well. It'll give you the topic. So for example, this is the Asia forums underneath. It's in alphabetical order. If you go on over to the right, you can see how many posts there are and when the last post was up. So you can see how new the discussions are. If you click on it and you scroll on down, Again, it breaks it up into more job discussions, pretty much anything you could ask for. So you can read discussions, ask questions, and make postings of your own. So we're gonna get out of that page and go on back. Once again, go up into the right-hand top corner under resources, and this is another helpful piece of this website. They've got everything from lesson plans to quizzes that you can use, resources for you to use when you become a teacher. And that's the gist of Dave's ESL Cafe. Number two is Teachaway. So when you Google teachaway.com, this is a site you're gonna get to. Right away, if you scroll on down, it's gonna show you step-by-step -step how to work this website. You make your profile, and in order to apply for any of the jobs on this website, you do have to have a profile. If you make your profile by hitting Get Started, or scrolling up to the top in the right where it says Register, they're gonna ask you questions about yourself, what you're looking for, et cetera, et cetera, so that you can find the job that fits you. After you make your profile, you can explore their job options and you can apply to them. You can get your TEFL certification if needed, and then you can head on out. And underneath this, like get ready to fly heading on out, you can check out blogs by different teachers. I will say I've worked with TeachAway a few times. I did not accept any jobs through them, but the people are very kind. If you don't need their help or however much help you need, just let them know. We're gonna scroll on up to the top. And underneath jobs, you can go right to the job board itself, or you can go to destinations. Here, it's going to break it up by countries and by regions. If you're looking for a job position in the United States, they also have that broken down by cities and states for you as well. 
So we're going to hit the job boards and we are going to head to the job boards page. Now on this, you can search by a specific country and you can search by specific positions. Or if you want to just scroll through this, it breaks it down by featured programs, online jobs, so on and so on. So you can look through those. You can also check out what's popular right now and hit on those links. So for example, let's just hit China jobs and this will bring us to the China job boards. All right. So we can see that there is currently 620 open jobs posted and you can scroll through their features, keep on going down and you'll get lists upon lists of different job postings in China. How it's posted, for example, this first one here, it shows you what they're looking for. So a kindergarten teacher right underneath that is the organization of the company that has posted it. So this is a Beijing private school, the location, which is Beijing, China. And when they're looking for a teacher to start by, they're currently doing ongoing interviews and probably ongoing start times as well. You can go to the right and you can hit view job details or click on kindergarten teacher. It'll bring you to the original job posting. Underneath this, you can check out everything about the job from how much money you're going to make, if accommodation or housing allowance is included. If you scroll on down, you get your contract link, how many people they're hiring, et cetera, et cetera. You can also check out the school specifically and a little bit about the location. All right, we're going to go back up to the top and underneath jobs, we're going to go all the way to community. And underneath community, if you help the links, they've got their blogs, which is by teachers for teachers information. There are teachers who have used their website who are currently somewhere teaching around the world. You can see what they're up to. And then there's resources and forums. So the resources themselves is a bunch of information articles for prospective teachers, teachers getting ready to leave, or teachers already teaching abroad. And there's everything from getting started to application to visa help that you can scroll through. Also at the top, underneath community again, and there's also FAQs. You can search for specific questions, answer to those questions, or you can check out the main section. So for example, teacher broad or online, and you can scroll through all of their FAQs that you may have that other people have had about their application process or what it's like to teach abroad. All right, and that is what is helpful about teachaway.com. Number three is goabroad.com. This is actually one of my favorite sites to find jobs abroad, not just teaching jobs abroad in general. So this is the homepage you're going to go to at the moment. For some reason, the photos aren't working. So normally there would be pictures up. If you scroll down on this site, you can specifically look what you want to do and it'll drop down different categories or you also have categories right here for you. So as you can see, it's not just teach abroad or TEFL courses for you. There's gap year options, degrees abroad, high school program, language schools, adventure travel. There is so many different options you could do. There's also where you wanna go, and that would be the location. So first you have to click on what you wanna do. So let's go to teach abroad, not TEFL courses, teach abroad. And then we're able to drop down to any country that we would like. And let's check out Costa Rica and we're gonna hit search. So it's gonna give us a little snapshot about teaching jobs in Costa Rica. We can click on read more, and that's gonna give you just a little bit more about locations, introduction to the country itself, salaries normally, how visa and accommodation works, and all that information. We're gonna scroll on down, and it tells us how many different programs and opportunities we have. So there's 14 different programs to teach English abroad in Costa Rica. And if you scroll down a little further, you will see the job postings. So for example, the very first one we see, get TEFL certified and teach English in Costa Rica in 2021. So it's telling us that you can teach English. What you'll probably do is get certified first with this program, and then they'll put you into a classroom. Gives you a little snapshot about what the information is. And when we click on it, we'll see more of that information in one second. Now, as I said in the beginning, this site is not the people you work with. It is the place where they post different jobs. So you can go to their website if you want to see more about them, or you can stay on this website and you can hit view the program. And right to the right of that, you're going to see who is posting these programs. So this is the International TEFL Academy. They're showing two programs in Costa Rica. And as you scroll down, you'll just see more and more. Okay. One of my favorite things about this website that I think is super cool is people who have done the different programs, whether they found it through this website or not, if they've worked with the different programs, they're able to put reviews. So you'll see here, for example, this job right here has 10 different reviews posted by users. They're not all positive. They're not all negative. They're a complete mix. And out of all the stars you can rate it, in general, it's got a 9.2. We'll click on this specific job. 
This brings us to their page. You can visit their website, you can get more information, or you can apply right away. You're going to scroll down. It's going to get give you information about the organization or the company or how it works. And then it's going to go over the program reviews. So this is really cool because it tells you where the person's from and when they reviewed it. So for the first one, this person says apparently they had a great time. They gave the complete five stars. They posted this in 2019. They're from the United States and they give a little bit of information on why they enjoyed the program. And you can see all the reviews that are posted. So that is super helpful when you are choosing a different job. And again, if you scroll down, you will see all the program details that come with the job. And you can bounce around right here. They have a little bar so you can go to the description of the program. You can go to the reviews of the program, the details, pictures, completely up to you. We are now going to go back up to the top and we're going to go back to the home page. On the home page, you scroll down more, there's a little bit more resources for you. So they do show their featured programs. Just note if you're not specifically searching for something, it's programs all over the world and all different types. So not just teaching abroad, more experiences that are highly rated. So if you're not sure where you want to go, you can check out the different trips or places available. If you don't just want to teach English, great website. And then at the very bottom, they have the travel resources, which can be super helpful for you. If you're, you need to find a scholarship for certain programs, there are a lot of teaching programs out there that you do have to pay for. I don't suggest paying for a program where you work, but if it works better for you, then they can help you find a scholarship or start a fundraiser. They give you different articles and accesses to travel information, how insurance works abroad, and so on. And at the very bottom, too, you can find more travel resources from booking flights to passport and visa information, all the way down to programs for different language speakers. Definitely very helpful, and that is goabroad.com. Number four is Teaching Nomad. So this is what you're gonna see when you go on teachingnomad.com. Right away, if you just scroll down a little bit, it's gonna show you exactly how to work the site. You create your profile, you talk with a placement consultant, then you get your TEFL certification, anything that you need, then you get your documents and you move on to the country that you will be teaching in. I will say this is another website that in order to apply for jobs through this website, you do have to create an account. So you can do that by clicking register now, or you can go up to the top right and click register here. And again, it's completely free. All you're doing is putting information about you, the type of school you're looking for, the qualifications you have, so that when you are all set, a placement consultant will reach out to you via email and they'll be able to work through what you're looking for and make sure you have what you need to apply to the jobs that look good to you. I will say also on this site, that while there is a scattering of countries that you have options for, the majority of jobs on the site that you're going to see are jobs specifically in China and the UAE. And you'll see they are under featured jobs and programs. These are the majority of jobs posted on this site. So we're going to scroll up to the very top under jobs. As I said, you can search by country and these are the countries that they have available to teach in. When you click on a country, so let's check out China, it'll bring you to that country's page. So this is another one where it gives you a bunch of information about the country that you're looking to teach in. And you can easily jump to where you need to on this page by clicking their quick links. So teaching in China, living in China, cities, types of schools. Let's go ahead and click compensation and benefits. And that's gonna jump us right to the information we want. Breaks down types of schools, salary, vacation schedule, all the information about working as an English teacher in China. All right, let's go back to the main teaching page. And we're gonna go right to the job boards by clicking view jobs. Now on the job page, it's gonna give you a total of how many jobs are currently available. So right now there's 530 jobs available. You can break it down by country and subject and a couple other filters. So if you click on the country, it's gonna drop down and it's gonna give you all the countries they have job postings for. The little numbers on the side are how many jobs available in that country. So right now Spain, there's only one job, South Korea, there's six, Singapore, there's one. And if you scroll up to China, you'll see that there's 396, hence me saying there's a lot of jobs for China on this website. So we're gonna click and search on China, we've got here, and we're gonna do ESL because that is what we are teaching, English. All right, the other filters you have, you can choose a specific city, and again, it'll tell you how many jobs are available in that city. So Beijing, there's 18, and Fuzhou, there's only one. So we'll search by Beijing. You can also search by your grade level. Again, it shows you how many jobs. So let's say we want to do middle school. And then if you don't have a license or you have no experience, you can click on these lovely buttons here. And if you need family support, you can click as well. 
We're going to hit update search and it's going to give us all that's available. So with our filters, China, ESL, Beijing, middle school, it's got six results for us. So there are six active jobs for what I'm looking for. The very first job that's posted is what's going to come up on the side on the right. Whatever one you click on, so for example, let's click on the fourth one down, that's the information that's gonna pop up on the right-hand side. So it's a public school oral English teacher for the fall of 2021. Gives you the location, your start date, your contract year, if you need a license and the type of school it is. It also gives you a job summary about the job, the benefits, all the information, what's required, and then you can go ahead and apply. Again, you do need to have registered and have an account in order to apply. All right, lastly, I'm gonna show you a couple of different resources. So you can go back to the start if you want, but you can also do quick links on the top. Under resources, the first thing you're gonna have is blogs. So like the other site, this is all teach abroad blogs by people who have taught before. You can break it down by category. There's articles on living abroad, updates, teacher certifications, all the information. So you can look through and check out different information for yourself. Lastly, under resources, this isn't a huge resource because it's only a couple things. But if you go to info sheets, under general, they have some interview prep questions to kind of help you through your interview, as well as specific information on China and the UAE. Anything from getting your visa to living in China to teaching abroad. And that is all for Teaching Nomad. Number five is total ESL. So this is what you're gonna see when you get onto the homepage. As you scroll down, you'll notice there are a lot of like links and extra things to click that you do have to avoid. They have their latest ESL, TEFL, TESOL teaching jobs as well on the right as their featured jobs. Now you can go through this to go through their job boards. It's very easy. Right away, you see what the job is. So this is a full-time or part-time native English speaker in Vietnam. It tells you when it was posted. It was posted for Wednesday. It tells you the country you're working in was Vietnam and who it was posted by. So this is Wall Street English. And it gives you a little bit of information and the company's logo next to it. And this is the same thing as you're scrolling down. You can click on it and it'll bring you right on to the information page. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll up so I can show you a different way to get to the job boards. So up on the top, under total ESL teacher, it's gonna give you a drop down with a lot of information. You're gonna go down to the third one, which is total ESL jobs. And this is gonna bring you right up to the job board where you can specifically search. So if you notice, there are over 1,600 pages of jobs. The further back you go, the later the jobs get. There are jobs in here that are posted from like 2016, I believe. So the lower the number page you're on, the more relevant the job is. You can search by keyword, you can search by region, and you can search by specific country. I would recommend either searching by country or typing in a specific keyword because if you search by region, for example, if you hit Central America, they'll have like a lot of Mexico comes up. Or I clicked on the Middle East and Thailand was listed under there. So if you get really specific, it's gonna help you a little more. Let's go on down and see if there are any postings in Germany. In order to make it go, you have to go to the keyword and click the search button. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see um, online language teachers were wanted in Germany as of the 15th of March. It was posted by someone named Melissa who probably works at this language company. And we're gonna go ahead and just click on that first one. And it's gonna bring you to their posting page. Now remember, this is the information that they put. So depending on which posting you go on, there's gonna be more or less information. So in general, they all say who the posting was, the date it was posted and the location, and then they tell you what they're looking for and hopefully leave a link to their website so you can apply through them. Back up to the top, let's check out the other resources because there's a lot of helpful things on this site. So under the Total ESL Teacher, you can put up your resume specifically if you don't wanna look for specific jobs, just see who comes to you. And another scam warning site. I love the scam warnings, they're super helpful. If you click on it, it brings you to different postings by different people who were scammed or know that the site is a scam. The only thing I would say is be careful with the word scam. Some people use it kind of like out in the air. To them, scam doesn't mean they took all your money and ran with it or they made you teach and didn't pay. Sometimes it means they didn't like the company and they thought they were either underutilized or overutilized. Could mean it's a scam to you, but it's also just a warning like this may not be the place that you want to work. Back up under Total ESL, underneath those scam warnings, you have teacher forums and blogs where you can read about, again, teaching English abroad, specific countries, or where you can post or read different FAQs to learn more about the country you're going to or different companies you're working with. There's also more resources, lessons for when you become a teacher that you can also post. On each of these, you can post 
a new forum, a new lesson, a new blog to share your knowledge information as well. If you go down to Total ESL Resources, more resources, more blogs, scam warnings, these are all the same links, just kind of underneath a different topic. Um, but under resources, there's just a little bit more. There's uh, more videos and more articles for you to check out. So that is Total ESL. Number six is GoOverseas.com. And this one is a lot like Go Abroad in their setup and how everything works. So this is the homepage that you're gonna get to. And you can scroll right on down and you can search by category. This is another one where it's not just TEFL courses and teaching abroad, but studying abroad, tours, language schools, all of that different jazz. Scrolling back up underneath their programs abroad, we're gonna go right to teach abroad. It brings you to your teach abroad site and you can go ahead and search specific programs. So you can search a specific location from online to a bunch of different countries and regions. Then you can search by who you want to work with, if you want to work with kids or adults, and then the different program types. So if you want to apply right to the school, work with a recruiter, go online, et cetera, et cetera. Or you can just click on a region and explore. If you scroll on down, it's just going to give you the most current teaching jobs available. Then it's going to give you a list of the popular places to check out, their featured programs, and stuff people have been looking at or commenting on. Even further down, it's gonna give you different articles by different people who have taught English abroad and have their two cents to put in so that you can have more information. Also breaks it down by the most recent Teach Abroad articles and then new teaching opportunities. So we're gonna scroll back up. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and scroll on down and you'll see just like the last website, it's got numbers next to it. So like Baharan has three jobs available. Bangladesh has three jobs available. Bolivia, there's one. And you don't have to just pick one. You can pick multiple. So for example, I'll hit the Czech Republic. And I also want to check out Croatia. So let's look at both of them and see what we have. So for teaching abroad, it's going to give me a mix of the two countries that I put in. And there's a total of nine results for those countries. And on the left hand side, I can put in more information. So if I want to put in more countries to filter through the length of the program, housing, program type, et cetera, et cetera. So let's check out the very first opportunity we have. And this looks like it is a teach abroad opportunity where you get your TEFL and you pay for your TEFL first, and then they put you into a class. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to bring us to that page. So it's an award-winning TEFL program since 2018. And you can see who it's from. It's the TEFL Worldwide Prague, the rating it's got, and that 49 people have left reviews. Like I said, just like before, it's not always positive, it's not always negative, it's a huge mix to give you different perspectives. And you can go ahead and leave a review yourself if you've been through this program. You can visit and apply through their specific website or you can apply directly right away. On the right, you have the location, the length, the training type, and any more information. Also gives you when they were last updated or when someone posted the last review. If you have an account on this site, you can add it to your favorites or your wish list so that you can always go back to it. It's gonna give you information about the program, highlights of the program, what's available, and it also gives you a list of related programs, which is kind of cool. So if this one's not for you, but you still wanna teach in Prague or want something like it, then you have that different opportunity. Then they have the awesome reviews, which I feel is super, super helpful. Let's just check out the first. So it says if they do or don't recommend the program, what they would give it, when they posted it, and all the information of the program itself. So you can just keep scrolling down and it gives you all of the information. So back up to the top, if you go under their online programs, apparently this is a new button that they have, you can specifically do all virtual or online options, teaching abroad or your TEFL co courses or other jobs. Again, it's not just TEFL. Then you can go over to their community and you can write a review yourself, check out different scholarships, and you can also go to their travel articles. Again, this is more blogs and information for teaching abroad or working overseas in general. And it breaks it down by studying, volunteering, teaching, internship, different categories for you to check out and read through all the different blogs that may be helpful for you. All right, and that is all for Go Overseas. Number seven is ESL Base. When you go to eslbase.com, this is the homepage that you are going to see. Their quick links are here, but you can also find them at the top. So in order to get to their job boards, you're gonna go over to TEFL Jobs. It's gonna bring up the job boards right away. Next to it, you can see that there is 71 currently active jobs. That's the number of job postings there is. Schools can post job adverts, 
You can get job alerts if you want to type in your email or create an account with this website. And a lot of the websites that I've gone over and are still going over do have that for you if you want to get job alerts from the different countries. There's also a scam guide. Let's just click that right away. If you do go to the avoiding TEFL scams, it's just going to give you a list of red flags that you should look out for when you are looking through their jobs because this site states it and pretty much all the sites have it. They are not responsible if you end up getting a job and it's a scam. So that's why you really need to do your research with all of these. Going back to the TEFL job boards, you can filter by country and like some of the other sites, it has how many job postings there actually are for each country. So for this one, let's check out Spain. So we filter by Spain. And if you scroll down, you're going to see all the job postings here. They have a highlighted main one at the top and then all the rest of the listings. So it shows you where exactly in Spain you're going what they're looking for an EFL teaching position. It's posted by the company organization. In this case, it's the Canadian Language Institute. And then on the right shows you not only how many views, but when it was posted. So this is posted in the 5th of April. So you know which ones are most up to date. So for an example, let's go on to this one and I'll bring you to their posting. Again, you see when it's published, it was April, 2021, who it was published by. You can visit their direct website by going on the link it tells you who posted this job, where it's from, the title, the description, salary and benefits, all the information. And if you scroll down a little bit further, it gives you other job opportunities in Spain, where they're located, and then when they were posted as well. All right, back up at the top, if you go over to the About TEFL, this is where you're going to find all the blogs and information of postings by other people who have gone through the same process that you are about to go through. Also back at the top, under resources, here's where you're gonna find all the resources for when you become a teacher. Everything from grammar help to teaching young learners, worksheets, all of that information. There's not a ton, but there's a little bit. Then there's also forums. And just like on Dave's ESL Cafe, this is a site where you can post about different topics and get answers to your questions, look through old posts. You can see, for example, this first one's about the virus and teaching abroad. There are seven topics and 16 posts under this specific board. It tells you what it is. So this board's about help and support during the outbreak. And the last post was updated on the 26th of February of this year, and it even gives you a time. So we're gonna ahead and click the coronavirus and TEFL. And if you scroll down, as you can see, it gives you a list of different topic. It shows you how many views, how many posts there are, and when the last post was posted in each of these categories. There's also more resources related to this topic on the right. To post your own topic, you'd have to create an account. If you don't want to, then you can just read through the old posts and different topics. Then lastly on the site, if you go countries, this is kind of a country guide or a breakdown. So let's go over to Brazil. If I go into Brazil, it's just going to give me information about teaching in Brazil. Now there's information from different people who have taught English in Brazil. Little side notes for you to note. It shows you how to teach, what's required about the visa. Again, just a bunch of information of the country itself. And the further down you go, the more up to date the post gets. So the first one we saw was 2006, this one's 2011, 2012, and so on. All right, so that is the gist of ESL base. Number eight is TEFL.com. When you go on TEFL.com, this is the page that's going to pop up. They'll tell you how many job adverts are currently up, how many positions they currently have posted, and how many different countries. If you scroll on down, you can go to their quick links and check out their latest job options, their featured job options, and more options that they have. Or you can use the search bar to find a job. So for example, they're saying put in teacher or ESL, or you can search by country and region. So it shows you the different regions first, and then it breaks it down by country. And that little number next to each of the countries and regions is how many different postings they have for each one. So for example, let's go to Europe. It looks like they have 45 job postings and we're gonna hit search now. That is gonna bring us to the Europe job board. As you can see, there's 45 jobs that are found and you can put them in order from most updated or when the post was put up originally. So for example, let's check out this one. Here we have an English teacher for Paris for the 2020 to 2021 school year. It tells you the location, which is Paris. France and the surrounding suburbs, and who is it posted by, which is the Turner Learning Center, along with a quick blurb of what they are. To get more information, you can either click view details or click on the English teacher that's required or the position itself that's posted. That will bring you to the original post. 
And this will give you all the information. So where it is, how many positions are open, if you need experience, a summary about the job, the details, all the information, salary, benefits, about the company, and the job location itself. And you can go ahead and save it with this little star here, or you can directly apply. Again, to do that, you do need to create an account. On this website, what is also quite helpful is the TEFL blogs. Essentially, that is people putting up different articles and blogs, information about their experience abroad, just like the other websites. And that is the gist for TEFL.com. Number nine is ESL Authority. This is a site you're going to see when you go on ESLAuthority.com. Right at the top, if you click the drop down button under jobs, you'll see ESL jobs, China, Japan, and South Korea, or online teaching jobs. We're going to go to all ESL jobs, and this is the job board. As you're going to scroll through this, you're going to notice the majority of jobs. And when I say the majority, I mean for this website, at the moment, almost all of the jobs are based in Asia. You'll see a lot of China, Thailand, Korea, etc. On these job boards, it lists the job they're looking for. So for example, here are the teaching jobs for ESL teachers in Korea. It shows you who is doing this. So this is ABC Recruiting Services is the company and teaching in the Republic of Korea. Then on the right, it'll tell you when it was posted. So this is April 4th. So if we go ahead and we click on that job, it will bring us to the main posting. It tells you when it's published, the type of job, the salary right now it's to be determined and then it tells you the description who put it up the qualifications you may need and then if you keep going down you'll see related jobs to this job so something that's either close when it comes to the specific job itself or the location it is all right we are going to go back one and if you scroll all the way down on this page you're going to notice that there are actually only three tabs full of different job postings so there's not a ton of postings on this website However, the reason I like this website a lot is because of its hiring guides. So if you go up to the top, under the hiring guides, you can look at all of them. You can go through a specific country. Let's just hit browse all. And it's going to give you information on all about the country or company that you may be teaching with and how to specifically get the job. Even if they don't have postings for specific jobs, for example, this is how to teach English in France, everything you need to know. They currently don't have any postings in France, but if you click on read more, it's going to give you so much information. So this was uploaded in 2020, so it is new. So with this information, it gives you not only a country overview, but the average salary, what you should expect, if you need a TEFL, if you need a degree. It shows you different information, different guides, your visa situation, all the information you may need. It's about cost of living in the country, what to know about the country, different examples, the perks, benefits. It is super helpful and in my opinion, it's more in depth than a lot of the other websites because this goes into stuff you are going to need for your job pertaining to the country and not just the country itself. Then it's got FAQs and you can read the responses to people and you can even post your own in reply. You can also see how updated it is. So like the last people who were posting comments was uh, June of 2020. All the way at the top, once again, they also have a blog section, which every website seems to. And here, if you scroll down, it's blogs and articles written by teachers for teachers and just gives you a lot of good information. And that is ESL Authority. Number 10 and last on the list is ESL Employment. This is the page you're gonna get when you go on eslemployment.com. Now, right away, if you look down in their feature jobs, you'll notice they're not ESL jobs. For some reason, there are lots of different jobs on this site, not just ESL based, you can see that when it says sales rep or accountant development. But when you do search your keyword or regions or countries, you are going to get ESL jobs. So let's check out Asia for this specific search. And it's going to bring up all of the ESL jobs in Asia. For example, let's check out this one. This is an ESL teacher wanted Taiwan, no experience required, tells you where it's located and it gives you the start of the information that they're going to give. So when you click on this, it is going to bring you to a different site. The majority of jobs you click on, it transfers you from ESL employment to a different site. So this brought me to get teaching jobs. And this is where the original post is. If you scroll down, it is that post. You'll see right here, it's the post that we did click on and it's all of the information. So who posted it, where it is, the salary you get, the date you're starting, all the information that they want to give, they give you. All right, we are going to get out of that and go back to the original page. So again, you can search by region, country, specific state, 
And the other helpful thing on this site is underneath resources, it gives you tons of different resources and blogs and articles and information from teachers who have been abroad, again, who are doing this job just like you. So it's kind of like their blog section. And then you can go on to ESL forms. And under that, just like a couple of the other websites we touched on, these are a bunch of different forums. There are different topics and different postings people put up if they have questions or information they want to share. You can see how many topics are being talked about, how many posts there are, and when the last post was put up. So you can see these are really active. This last one was this month um, of this year. So for example, if we click on getting the job, it'll bring us to that board, broken out by topic, how many replies, so you know if there's anything worth reading on there. And again, when the last post was put up. And again, if you don't wanna make your own account and post questions, you can still read from all the ones that are already posted up there. And that's basically the gist of ESL employment. That's all for today's video. Hopefully this was able to help you check out different websites and learn about the resources on those websites that'll help you find an opportunity to teach English abroad. Until next time, I hope this helps.